Yeah, man, I can't see a fucking thing. Hey, good morning. What's going on, everybody? Monday morning, four days till Christmas. Wait, Christmas is Saturday. Five days till Christmas. And we got to try to get that house done today. Couple of things. Shout out to anybody who took the time to check out yesterday's video with our little plumbing issues. Uh, a lot of insightful comments. And thank you guys for them. Some people said, Joe, you need to stop saying that you're going to be done with the house tomorrow. <laughs> or today. Good boy. That is a good boy. Uh, other people said, uh, it's not a compression fitting that I was dealing with yesterday, but a shark bite push to connect. Uh, you're absolutely right about that. I thought it was a compression fitting, considering I needed to use compression to fit it. But I was totally wrong about that. Hey, I'm not a plumber. I'm a hack job if you let some tell it, right? But no, seriously, I do take pride in trying to make sure the shit is right. And um, if there's an issue, hey, I'm going to address it and I'm going to fix it. Others said, Joe's so quick to put the blame on somebody else, but let him make the mistake. What you talking about, Cletus? If there's an issue, I'm going to address it and I'm going to fix it. If somebody else fucked it up, I'm going to address the fact that they fucked it up. And if I messed it up, I'm going to address the fact that I messed it up. So, um, not trying to pass the buck at all in relation to anything. Uh, what else? There was some other stuff. Somebody said, uh, make sure you don't get no burrs on that copper pipe when you're dealing with those kind of fittings. Absolutely right. Uh, no burrs on that pipe. That pipe is super smooth. Smoother than a baby's ass, if you will. So, good deal there. All right, I can't think of any other comments that were uh, jumping out at me, jumping off the page at me right this second, but right this second it's about 7 10 in the morning it is freezing high is only going to be 40 something degrees today no rain today thank god but it will be cold and can you run a dehumidifier in the cold absolutely not it's not going to work for shit so i've been told in the comment sections so i got my propane tank i'm looking for my heater i don't even know if i got a heater for real i remember seeing a heater but do I have a propane heater so we can blast heat at the house and dehue at the same damn time? Oh shit, I ain't know I got no music play. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> okay. Whoo, shit, it's cold. Cold, cold, cold. I need to put on a heavier jacket. Is there a light in here? Well, the light's not really hitting on shit. Man, I wouldn't have threw it away, right? I wouldn't have threw it away. Nah, I ain't throw it away. I ain't throw it away, Jack. It's just buried under all that. Under all that. Yellow. There she be right there. There's my bazooka. Cool deal. Get this guy up out of here. We got some heat for the exterior house all right we're good to go right good to go anything else i need some sheathing Have you ever gotten done with a house and then on the day that you were done or supposed to be done, you had to rebuild the whole house? Kind of. Not really. We don't really got to rebuild the whole house. I mean, I'm kind of being dramatic saying that, but we do got to address what we had to correct. If that makes any sense. You got to address what you got to correct, and you got to come correct. Cool. So, we're going to run this joint a little bit like Whoa Black Betty. Uh, from Goodfellas. I had to go home and start a spaghetti. There was a police helicopter. I had to get rid of these silencers. You know what I mean? Oh shit, I got the joint sitting on the Joby. 
right there. That's pretty cool that that's actually working. Yeah, we got a lot to do today, folks. Can we finish the house today? Hit you with the Kramer. Um, it's my hope, right? It's my hope that we can finish the house. Uh, I also got to shoot. Boy, I got to shoot way out yonder at about 11 o'clock this morning and go meet my daddy. I got, a, I got a Christmas present for my daddy. Just a nice little picture of a place where him and my stepmother got married at. So, got to go meet my daddy, give him that joint. Um, and then I got to get the dehumidifier at some point. Got to go rent that joint from Home Depot. Try to get that joint for two days. Also, I can't emphasize enough to you. You guessed I'm broke. Broke as a beep. Hey, boy, hey. I ain't as broke as I was last month, but I'm damn close. Thank God I get paid. That's all I got to say. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty broke right this second. It's not a good feeling being broke during the holidays. Thank God I got this gift, right? I was able to get this way back yonder before we even started Flip 3. It's a good deal to that. All right, let me text Damon. Go pick Damon up. Get ready to get Damon. Get the day underway. Have him doing a whole bunch of touch-up painting while I'm running around. Today's going to be one of them days where Joe got a boss shit. I got, hey, I got a boss it. I got to run. Go pick up all this stuff. And uh, maybe, just maybe, we get some moisture taken out of that wood in freezing cold temperatures and maybe we get this house done minus the outside the outside is probably definitely not gonna be done till tomorrow all right i'll share with you guys how this is gonna go should go should go route should go rather well so here's the hoping on a monday Whew. sure is bl blustery out there if that's that's the word Cold as a bitch is a better way to say it. All right, we got the propane heat blast and shit. And to be honest with you, the moisture issue doesn't even seem as bad as I thought that it was. Um, first of all, with the propane heat blasting it, that's, you know, definitely lessened it. Second of all, um, even coming here today with everything, uh, what's the word, um, fixed. <laughs> Um, the moisture has already dissipated to a certain degree, not all the way, but to a certain degree. So what I, where I'm going with this conversation is I don't think we're going to get the dehumidifier. Now I did read about propane heat, butane heat, how that can create moisture unventilated. However, this bitch is outside, right? Um, so we ain't got to worry about no moisture being created by the propane heat. So we'll see how that works. Um, it's not like I, it's not like I can't, it's not like I don't want to go get the dehumidifier, but the issue is, is it going to be pointless because of how cold it is and because of how wet everything else around is. The ground's wet. I mean, everything's wet. So what will the dehumidifier really do other than suck up all of the earth's water? Is it actually going to, you know, be beneficial to us? We'll see. We'll cross that bridge a little later on. We'll see what this propane heat does. And uh, yeah, so in the midst of things, we're continuing to button up the house. The stagers are coming today at 1 o'clock to check this place out. I don't even know if I'm going to be here for that. Because uh, I got to run and meet my daddy at 1130. And that's uh, about 45 minutes away from here. So hopefully I'll be here. We'll find out what's going on with the stagers, when they're going to stage this thing. And today we're just going to be working to a hey, button up, button up and get done. Somebody also said, Joe, your caps and your tubs look like shit with all the black fixtures. What'd you think? We wasn't going to paint it. Come on now. Come on now. Give me a little more credit than that. No, no credit at all. Okay. You win. You got it. Hey, you got it. You, you got it. All right. You got it. You're right. I'm wrong per usual. All right. Anyways. Uh, butane, I mean, propane heat's going. Damon's getting ready to paint those caps. I'm getting ready to be bouncing around doing, buttoning up shit. We got work to do, folks. So let's get to it and share with you guys how she goes. <clears throat> Woo, all right, 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm back. I did lunch with my daddy. My daddy gave me a, a Christmas present, man. That was really nice. He gave me a nice sweater. 
Man, shout out to my pops. Um, Damon has been in here painting. Just got done meeting also with the stagers. Uh, the stagers came over here. The realtors came over here. And, yo, they talked super nice about the house. The stagers did. These two dudes. Um, they were like, yo, you did a fucking good job. We see a lot of houses. And your attention to detail in here is really unprecedented. And I said, man, yo, you guys are great. Thank you. So shout out to old Damon and me for all this attention to detail, right? Speaking of attention to detail, we got to put some latches back on some doors. I mean, hinges. We've been painting hinges that aren't black that need to be black. And we're working to button up the back of the house. Dry as a mouse, ready to be a house again right so we'll do that damon's actually already coming downstairs as well him downstairs they're staging this joint on wednesday so wait for that and uh yeah man uh, we should be done we'll be definitely done in here by then so we're gonna go put these hinges back on rebuild the house and then continue on trying to be done today camera you're struggling ain't you you're struggling like me this morning trying to get them eyes on blurry trying to trying to focus ain't you camera oh yeah we don't like the low light hey what's going on everybody man i feel bad not sick or anything not omicron or anything thing knock on wood um but uh i feel bad i haven't been able to get videos up and that's that's unsat that doesn't sit well with me i filmed so hopefully I've got some footage from what I filmed yesterday, and yesterday was going to meet my daddy and going to uh, take care of the landscape job. And I mean, not, what, what am I talking about? Uh, going to meet my daddy, uh, dealing with the stagers, having them come over. They were talking really nice about the house. Everybody was been talking really nice about the house, so that's cool. And today is landscape day. I've actually got a little gift in the back uh, for the landscape customers, the homeowners. Um, give them a little Christmas gift. They've been nice to me. They've been good to me. And I want to show some sort of appreciation to them. And I try to show appreciation every time we go out there doing a quality job on their property. So this is the last time that we're cutting their yard before Christmas. Christmas is on Saturday. And uh, if, I haven't, if I haven't mentioned it this morning or yesterday, folks, I am... Briz Oak. Broke, 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 broke back mountain. Wait, that sounded. Yeah, man, I don't even barely got enough money to pay Damon today. But I do get paid today, so that's a that's a good sign. Not a whole hell of a lot, but I got some money coming in, so that's a good thing. Ooh, hoo, 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 look at the police sitting there trying to catch somebody speeding with your canine unit ass. Yeah, man, I usually come that way. Thank God I didn't because I might have ran that little light or I probably would have been speeding by there. So there's, oh shit, he must have seen me filming this. Here he comes, he's coming to get me. He might be actually, he might be. Oh boy, yep, he's coming. Nope, he's going, yep, he's, yep, he's damn sure coming this way. And he's getting on the interstate too. Is he getting on the interstate? Ah, he is. I hope he drives 80, because that's what I drive. Um, what else? Today, we could potentially be finishing up the house. There's that. We don't have very much to do on the inside. We got a shit ton to do on the outside. Yesterday, we were able to button up the plumbing situation uh, in the, and the back of the house. The, the plumbing situation was squared away the other day, but the back of the house was still open and wet boy hitting that joint with that propane heat though hey that shit dried shit up with a quickness so that worked out pretty well for us all right i'm jumping on the interstate right now i got a canine unit somewhere lurking up ahead and i'm on my way to go pick up damon we got landscape today and potentially trying to finish the house with <laughs> well with uh with about 200 dollars to my name so Let's go get it, dude.
freaking 40 degrees in this house. I thought I left the heat on last night. Guess I didn't. Left a bunch of lights on though. Joe, what the fuck? The power bill. All right, so just checked up underneath the house. Everything's dry as a church mouse. And our tub is no more leaking on the drain. I don't know why that little bit of water right there ain't draining, but hey, that ain't for me to understand. I, I don't build tubs. I just install them and do class A uh, hot guy shit. Isn't that what the TikTok thing is? I'm busy right now. I'm doing hot guy shit. Hot guys. Sort of like hot fries. All right, anyways. Um, 7.30 in the morning, just getting over here, checking on things, uh, getting the heat on, and here's the game plan. We're going to finish the house today. That's a guarantee, even with landscape. We're going to finish it because all we really got is some stuff downstairs, him downstairs, and a shit ton of windows to clean up, and a shit ton of cleanup to do. Um, may not get all of the cleanup done. We should. Um, we got a vacuum carpet. That's going to be a bitch. Uh, especially on the stairs, but it may not get all of the cleanup done, but we're definitely going to get Everything done Tomorrow we'll be loading out. We'll be taking care of the outside of the house as well And there's a fair amount of work to do Outside um, I want to be quiet show you the flower beds that look like shit. All right, everybody's still still asleep So good deal. All right, so look looking outside being real quiet, right? So you know what I mean, these, these beds, they don't look too good. That looks horrendy. Um, these beds right here, they don't look too hot neither. We need to clean this shit up. We need to make it look real sharp, real sharp. Uh, there's my front porch light. It didn't come with the light bulbs. And of course it takes the little mini bulb. So I'm about to take that joint back, but it's a decent enough front porch light. We ain't gonna get a better one. So we'll just have to get the light bulbs. So like I said, game plan, uh, we're going to work over here for probably about an hour, um, continue on what we're doing. I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to start hitting some windows. Uh, we're going to put these door hinges back on. Well, Damon's got to paint the other side of the door hinges. He'll do that. We'll get some stuff going on down here. And really, there's not a whole hell of a lot that needs to get done down here. Mostly just clean out. Uh, he already got a little bit of paint going on... The pantry door, somebody had made a good comment. They said, Joe, because it's uneven, you could just put a piece of trim right here. That's not a bad idea. I don't think that I got one. I mean, I probably do, but do I though? And how would that honestly look? You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we got in the scraps. Uh, to be honest, I can't afford not near another material right this second. There, there's nothing, nothing left that I'm going to be able to get. And um, yeah, so let's get to work. Happy Tuesday, folks. Christmas right around the corner. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Is it Tuesday? Uh, have you been naughty or nice this year? What is Santa Claus bringing you for Christmas? Are you getting anything for Christmas? Do you do the Christmas? I like to do the Christmas. But I don't think Santa's bringing me anything. I've been... that money in there like so putting the drain in I mean the plug and then we go go close open close does close actually work let's test yeah close actually does work open now she's draining. Uh, yeah. I got, I got it. Cool deal. All right, that's about the extent of the work that I'm going to do today, folks. I'm going to put a butt plug in the toilet. I mean, in the tub, and I just did that. Let's get some cleanup done. Let, hey, let's get, hey, let's get this fucking house done, and then let's go have some fun out on the landscape job. I wonder if there's going to be any leaves out there. There wasn't too many last time, and well, it's only been a week. All right, let's get it in, share in a little bit. Hell, I come 40,000 miles over here to see what them pretty little lips gonna 
mama do to me, baby? But every single time that I come around and see you got another man trying to keep you down, baby. Well, you might think you're driving me insane, but I made the game that you're trying to play. You know, I think you maybe ought to know this ain't my first rodeo. All right, probably like 8.45 in the morning, you're making it loaded up, go do the landscape. All right, don't freak out on me now. Don't freak out on me, but we do have potentially another slight problem, Houston. We probably have another slight problem. However, it's not my fault. It is definitely Matt's, I'm kidding, it's not Matt's, but it's nobody's fault. It's just one of them things. It's just one of them days where I want to be all uh, those things. Uh, I have no idea. Don't tell me. I don't care. Um, yeah, another slight little problem. And thank God we, we recognized this, okay? Like I said, this is nothing that we did. Definitely nothing that we did because we didn't do anything in relation to this. But we got a little HVAC issue, okay? Nothing too major. Ah, let me put y'all in the POV. POV, you're sitting in my lap. Come on, you fuck. My first rodeo. All right, here we go. All right, so anyways, here's the here's the dilly. So the heat in the house works. However, the heat pump never comes on, right? So you got a heat pump outside. That's your outside fan unit. And then you got an air handler that's upstairs, downstairs, in your basement, in your attic, wherever the hell that thing's at, right? In your closet. So, like I said, the heat works, but the heat pump don't work. Oh. And I Googled that and realized, and I already knew the answer to this. Like, the heat pump is definitely supposed to be on when your air handler is running. But Google would tell me that those two units work in tandem right and i also knew before without googling this that if your heat is running and only your air handler is providing you heat well then your emergency heat is the only thing that's on now i know that that sounds pretty drastic um but what i really feel like from that is you know that's just going to overwork your air handler uh put more strain on that unit but it's still going to provide you heat Right, but it's not right. You gotta have both units working in tandem. Now the reason why the heat pump outside's not working, we have no idea. I remember in the summertime when the AC would be on, the heat pump would be clanking. Uh, like the fan was loose or the unit's loose or something like that. So could it have worked itself into um, being broken? It could have, but there's also a number of other issues. It could be um, a wiring issue, a capacitor issue, it could be free on. Um, so anyways, the point of the matter is we have no, and hell, the unit could be bad. We, got, we could have to replace the heat pump. And God only knows how much that would cost. But we're not doing that. We're going to get the system maintenance like I was planning to do anyways. I've got a top dog maintenance dude. I mean, this dude makes like 40 bucks an hour and ACs are his thing. And he's going to come check this joint out. He's got everything that he needs to be able to do this. Certified uh, HVAC technician and uh, head maintenance dude um, in his line of work. So he's helped me with numerous HVAC issues in the past. He's actually helped me with a few different things. He helped me with a plumbing issue over at flip number two when we couldn't reach the valves uh, behind the... the um, the uh the distribute what's it called the fucking the not the diffuser um whatever that thing is called where your uh handle hooks up to your water uh distributor i, I can't remember what it's called anyway so he's gonna come check that thing out at some point he'll help us get it squared away or at least address what the hell the issue is so another you know another thing but we knew that you know there could be an issue with the hvac considering the hvac is probably 20 years old who knows how old it is but regardless it works AC works at least it was I don't want to switch from heat to AC just to check it but a, but we might have to AC works 
heat works, even if it is only emergency heat for right this second. And heat pump, x nay on the work day. So we gotta figure that situation out. But that's for another time. Right now, we gotta go do this landscape job and then finish the house. You know what I mean? That heat pump can be addressed at any time uh, between now and a home inspection. So there's that. All right, let's go take care of landscape and uh, yeah, just wanted to share with you guys another major catastrophe. Matt's fault all day long. But uh, you know, all right, anyways. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, let's go do this landscape and share with you guys when we're done and freezing cold. Holy shit out there. Check out this little video of our nice little landscape work. What is what is all that? Oh, I'm lonely. I didn't even see that pal. Let's get that real quick. Just throw it over. I don't give a throw it in the back of the truck for all I care. Yeah, we gotta grab that one last little, a little baby straggler pile back there. I mean, probably 10 leaves. All right. Boy, we treat this property like it's a golf course. No bullshit, that's how clean we keep it. It was not that bad when we came out here. And it's crazy because the leaves are the leaves are done. There ain't shit for leaves for real. Uh, and it's funny how the season go, it progresses because you'll see leaves, every, leaves in some spots that'll transform into leaves everywhere. And then, and then that'll transform into leaves in just certain spots again. And then eventually there ain't gonna be no leaves. Right? So, uh, yeah. So this time there really wasn't shit. Um, it's 11.30 and we're getting up, up out of there. It was almost not bad. It was almost so not bad that we almost just didn't even do it, but we were there and there was one side of the yard that was super, well, not super, but you know, pretty, pretty leafy. So we squared that away. I brought a gift for Christmas for my landscape uh, customers. And these people have been great to me for, shit, two years now I've been doing this property. Uh, I think this is the second Christmas that I've been doing this property for. And I gave them a card and I gave them um, this little popcorn thing, little um, seasonal popcorn thing that you get, uh, that you get from Target. And, you know, it's not about any kind of a, uh, hell of a gift or anything like that but you know i just wanted to show appreciation show gratitude for the work that they've given to me anyways long story short they ran inside the customer the, the man he's very nice the wife is nice as well very very nice people but he ran inside he got us all sorts of goodies man came out with hey we got i can't even show i show it to you in a little bit um we got some pies we got some cookies we got a card pretty cool right pretty cool and, uh, you know, it was also a great opportunity for me to talk to him. I mean, I talked to the guy, you know, probably once a month at least. Um, but it was a great opportunity for me to talk to him and tell him, hey, look, you know, leaves are, hey, they're done. I said, so we're going to be here more sporadically or more, oh, shit. We won't be here as often. And um, I said, but there is some other work that... You know, I'd like to talk to you about, there's some fence boards that definitely could be replaced, not from the fence work that we did, uh, but fence work that we didn't do. We only did, we only repaired the fence. Well, the fence is in major need of just being replaced, to be honest. And I, I'm trying to make it, you know, more cheaper, if that's the way to say that, for my customer to just continue repairing the fence. The fence is standing. Hey, all them fence posts we put in, them joints are still perfect. But the problem is all the old boards that we didn't replace, we probably only replaced like 30 boards on that fence. Well, there's probably every bit of 100 plus boards on that fence that definitely need to be replaced. 
There's no leaning of the fence at all. The gates suck. They could be replaced. But um, I'm going to look into some pricing on some fence boards and see what we can do. And he also mentioned mulch. So, hand cleaning out some flower beds and that type of stuff. It's cool because, you know, when you can have those kind of conversations with your, your customer, it kind of gives you a little sense of job security. Like, you know that they're interested in that and they're not just, uh, it's a good opportunity for you to gauge where, where you're at with the customer. Because landscape, I've mentioned before, is a very fucking cutthroat thing. I got a landscape guy that cuts, cuts the property right next to our property. And this dude, it's almost like it's a dick swinging contest. He's always, well, he's never, he's not there as often as we're there, but when he's there, you know, he tries to maybe one up us a little bit. I can't have that. He keep trying to one up us. I'm gonna drop some, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna drop a syringe on his, on his seat of his truck. I'm a god of law. I'm, oh boy, I'm just, I'm, I'm messing around. I'm messing around. Oh uh, yeah, police, there's a, <laughs> There's a guy shooting dope and cutting grass out here. He's very suspicious. Come get him. Shit me. Hit that joint like belly. All right. 11.30, we're done with the landscape. Hey, Merry Christmas. Got that property looking like a golf course, like a little freaking private airport or some shit. And now, hey, now we get to go, uh, man, out there digging fence posts by hand. That dude looked like straight Yellowstone out there. Now we're getting ready to go back to work on the house. Good day. It's being starting to be a pretty good day. We're back. Lunch is over with and um, just getting back over to the house. Boy, I'm flexing with them Target $20 sunglasses right there. They look better than any Ray-Bans I ever had. All right. Hey. Let me share something with you guys. We're gonna be done with the house today, except for the outside and the cleanup outside. Uh, but cleanup inside, we'll probably be done with that too. Um, that's the game plan. There's not a whole hell of a lot that needs to get done downstairs. So here's the deal. I wanna share something with you guys. First of all, we walk up in here, I've got the heat set on 61. It's warm as a bitch in here. So if we are only running off of emergency, emergency heat, hey, it's warm. Um, it's warm. Any HVAC people out there, let me know what you, your thoughts on that situation are. Heat pump not working. Um, yeah, heat pump's just not working. I thought about taking the disconnect out and just plugging it back in, but it's above my pay grade right there. I don't, I don't know. So I'll probably just wait for the HVAC guy uh, to handle that, to help us get that squared away. Another thing. I don't know why it came to me. I guess it was on the ride back from the landscape job where Damon had made a comment saying, damn, it's crazy that police ain't sitting where he's usually sitting at. And it was saying that that made me realize, oh shit, today's the 21st of December, 13 years ago to the very day, your boy at 6 p.m., was getting arrested to go serve seven years of my life locked away. And it wasn't even my fault. It was fucking Matt's fault. <laughs> oh boy, I'm just, but no, on a more somber, serious note, yeah, 13 years ago today at 6 p.m., I was getting locked up to go serve seven years of my life because I was a piece of shit out there in the streets uh, doing all the wrong shit. And now look at me now. <laughs> I'm getting ready on December the 21st, 13 years later, I'm getting ready to be finished on this very day with my third flip house. It's not made me rich. It's not been, you know, one of those type of parties, but it's three houses that I've basically built from the ground up like Ryan fucking Goslin in that movie, The Notebook. I'm building dreams here. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm proud of that at least, right? Proud, and, uh, you know? I believe I can fly. I don't know what the theme song from The Notebook was. Um, 
Turn down the lights. Turn up the pipe. Get high as a kite. There's no cops in sight. I just sharded my pants. Y'all remember that when I used to do the Bobo? The most talented songwriter ever. <laughs> yeah, man, 13 years to the very day, man. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty humbling, to be honest with you. Even though you probably think, God, Joe is such an asshole. I just wish he would fail. I'm so glad his HVAC is broken or in need of being serviced. All right, anyways, so what we got going on? We got to paint some hinges up top. We got to clean up the tub up top a little bit. They got a couple of paint drops on it when we painted the hardware black to match. Matt, it's all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm hyped, man. I just drank that mountain doing shit. Yeah. All right, so anyways, uh, put the doors back together upstairs. Finish cleaning the windows upstairs. And then continue on downstairs. Fair amount of shit that needs to get done down here, but we can, we can get it knocked out in a couple of hours. And load out. Got the truck ready for the first load out to go to the storage unit. And got the trailer ready for tomorrow for the runs to the dump. It's going to be two of them at least. At least. And they're going to be staging this money tomorrow too. All right, let me shut the F up, get to work, and share with you guys the progress. Turn down the pipe. Move over, God bless it. Can't you move over, Annie? Gosh, mighty, you're all in my way. Hey, 2.53 in the afternoon and we're living in the truck. That's right, folks, we got a, not as big of a load as I really wanted to take. I wanted to start loading out the house. I got no elbow room here. I need to man spread badly and you're not allowing me. Oh, God, it just hit my boo-boo. Oh, fuck, that hurts. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. 2.53 in the afternoon, and I'm making a run to the storage unit, folks. Hey, we're loading out. Hey, we're getting evicted from the flip today. Starting to happen. Upstairs, 99% done. Downstairs, ah, whew, probably about 80, let's just say fucking 89. 89% complete. Um, but there was so much shit in our way that making this run to the storage unit is emphatically important. Um, also, we got the rain on the way. So, you know, it's kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't. What am I going to do? Am I going to load it into the garage, then have to load it again? That might have been the smarter solution, but fuck it. Got it all loaded up, and watch what I tell you. Tomorrow, we're going to need something that's over here at that storage unit. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. What else? I mentioned that I just hit my boo-boo from yesterday. Ooh, that joint hurts badly. So, I, uh, I, I put my wrist right into the my multi-tool, which is basically a saw. So, I put my wrist right into the, to the, to the teeth of the saw blade. Now, it wasn't running. It was resting on its side. And when I pulled the blade out of my vein... Almost like I slipped my wrist. I'll show you when we get to the storage unit how bad it is. It's pretty traumatic. When I pulled the blade out of my wrist, I then took the multi-tool, I twirled it over my head like a helicopter, and I freaking hurled that bitch at a tree. Man, I was so mad. It was Matt's fault. Um, and that's what I was saying. I was like, damn it, Matt. But no, seriously, though, that shit hurt, though. And I was mad as shit. I don't even like my multi-tool. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a, a rigid. And um, it doesn't turn on very well. Like you got to have the safety clicked. It's almost like a Glock. You got to squeeze the safety to squeeze the trigger. And I don't like that. I'd like to get a battery powered one. I'm getting battery powered everything when it's all said and done. Battery powered, uh, multi-tool, uh, oscillating saw I believe it's called. Uh, battery powered brad nailer hey look all you need is a brad nail you don't even need a framing nail gun to be honest if you're going to do renovations a brad nail is just as good as a 16 penny i think that's what it's called 
Anyway, let me stop rambling. Hey, we're working our asses off. I've been upstairs, Molly made in the shit out of that thing. Damon's been on trim downstairs. Still got them hinges to put on. I know, I know. And we're working late today. Working late today, which means I'm working all the way till bedtime. By the time you guys are seeing this video, hey, I'll probably be going to sleep. So, crazy. All right. Well, let me focus on the road. I've been on the interstate and uh, about to be at the storage unit. I'll show you my boo-boo when we get there. Get unloaded, get back, and get, hey, get the inside done. So close, but so far away, like a stain song. How'd that song go? So I tell you, well, hold on. So I tell you, the fun thing about this is when this is all, well, first of all, uh, guarantee, hands down, there's going to be something that I'm putting in here right now that I'm going to have to come back and get. I don't know what it is just yet. But it's gonna be something. This is embarrassing. We didn't bring. We didn't bring hardly any. I really gotta get rid of that push mower right there. This shit ain't worked in two years. Now that we're here, so far away. Hey, y'all trying to check out that boo-boo from yesterday? Straight up. Hey, that joint right there. Right there, that shit. Whew. Hey, that shit pained me right there. Blood everywhere. All right, been back for a second. And... Uh, I'm gonna be wall painting. Just hitting a couple of little spots right in this area, nothing too major. So let me show you folks how meticulous this shit is. So, all door handles done, door hinges all done, cleaning all done, and yeah man, hey, the upstairs is done. 100% done. Carpet vacuumed, getting vacuumed. Bathroom cleaned up, getting cleaned up, shit. Um, yo, we done. Hey, we done. Damn, I gotta wipe that down one more time right there. Uh, floors all vacuumed, windows all cleaned. Yeah. She done done. And now, we're trying to hurry up and finish, well, hurry up and finish upstairs, which we're almost done, and we're working our way down to the down. This is all that's left on the inside, really. Just this little bit of shit. This room's cleaned up. Heck yeah. She looking good. Mantle's getting painted one more time. Already done. Dining room's definitely done. And uh, let's wrap her ass up. All right, it's 4.30 something in the afternoon. We're, getting ready. We're, we're done. Forget it. Forget about it. We ain't, we didn't finish the house. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, we came close though, right? I can tell you one thing. Hey boy, I can tell you one thing. That fucking upstairs though. Hey, that upstairs, let's go ahead and do it together. Oh wait, that's not this. Yeah, let's, uh, let's shut that joint down. Cause that shit, that's rap city. So we've been downstairs and we've been working and we've been working and we've been working. So I just painted all the, the I just painted all around the tile right there. Uh, Damon caulked up that, we're getting that tightened up. 
I've been working on this area right down here. Damon's been hitting this baseboard right here, making sure all this shit's good. And hitting that joint right there, that thing's good. And uh, this room is pretty much done minus cleaning up the windows. And uh, that's pretty much it, cleaning the floors off and just cleaning it up. This room is uh, not too bad. I mean, it's just base, hit the base one more time. We've touched up quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit of stuff. And uh, then the kitchen's pretty much cleaned out. I mean, we've taken a lot of stuff up out of here, so that's good. There, there ain't too much going on with this room. Don't forget about this wall paint right here, Dan. Yeah. Um, ain't too much going on with the dining room, windows, clean them up. Ain't too much going on with the bathroom. I gotta bring the globes for that, clean that up. I think uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so we, we got it pretty much. So tomorrow the stagers are coming and they already told us even with all the shit that we had in here the last time, they weren't worried about the, sh the stuff that we had up in here. I've heard that they pulled up the houses and, um, um, you know, people had way more shit in there and then they had to leave and come back. And they were like, yeah, we'll come back on another day. So, uh, hey, busy day today. We did the landscape job. We knocked that out, gave the property owner a nice little card and a, a thing of candy popcorn. Just said, hey, thank you for all of the continued business. It means a lot. Dude went in and brought us all sorts of goodies out. I forgot to show them to you guys. I took them, I took them to the house. I gave Damon some and I took the rest to the house. Uh, but dude be baking. He baked us. I mean, he didn't bake us, but I guess he ba he gives uh, pastry gifts for the holidays. So that's a fantastic idea, y'all. <laughs> Give away some pastries. And you ain't got to really spend no money on nobody. Forget a gift card. Here's a ramen noodle soup. Right? Crazy. Anyways, we're not done yet, but we're so close. And the house is looking really good. And uh, we're not really running into any other issues, minus the fact that the heat pump don't ever cut on. But we'll get that addressed. You know, these type of things, they, they come up. So, address them when you, uh, uh, address them when you run across them. And that's the way to do it, right? Folks, that's all I got. Uh, I'm getting ready to go drop Damon off and then I gotta go edit this video and it's gonna be a long night for your boy. So you might not be seeing this video till much later. It's 4.30 in the afternoon right now. You will not be seeing this video till probably seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, maybe even a little bit later than that. Damn. But just please appreciate the grind because uh, hey, sun up to sun down. Your boy be on it. So, we're almost done here. Thanks for taking the time. And I look forward to sharing more with you guys tomorrow. Hey. That's kind of, kind of hard. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Have a great one. Hey,